Hi, I'm Bill Milbrod. I'm a producer working mainly in the worlds of music and sound. I also founded the Car Music Project. If you buy production services, whether it's music, sound design, or video, this series of short videos is made for you. Let's start with the idea of clarity. That's because clarity is the idea that will tie these videos together. Clarity is what we're always searching for. And simply put, like in good graphic design, the key to good sound design is clarity. In other words, a soundtrack that's well-designed is made up of a series of well-defined moments in which each sound has a purpose. And the end result should be a soundtrack that's clear, easy to listen to, and helps tell your story. Right, maybe I'll just clear again. Here's an excerpt from a video soundtrack I finished recently. Three high school seniors in a gym. Hey, Two of them are talking while one plays basketball in the background, mostly off camera. Wow, what do you think? How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen, Jack is having a party tonight. I heard that. A few people. Okay, sorry, Jack is having a few people over his house tonight. Would you like to come? For realism and to remind the audience that the third person is still there, we really need to hear him playing basketball in the background. To do this, we added some basketball sound effects. The trick, though, is to add the sound effects, but not disrupt or interfere in any way with the dialogue. So let's start by listening to the scene with dialogue only and no sound effects. When did you sneak in? A couple of minutes ago, I didn't want to bother you. Who's winning? Wow, well, who do you think? <laughs> How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Oh, great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen, Jack is having a party tonight. I heard that. A few people. The scene really feels like it's missing something. So let's add our basketball sound effects now. Why did you sneak in? A couple of minutes ago, I didn't want to bother you. Who's winning? Oh, who do you think? <laughs> How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen, Jack is having a party. I heard that. A few people. As you heard, the basketball sounds were a little bit loud. And that makes it a little bit tough to understand exactly what the actors are saying. So let's try lowering the volume of the sound effects just a little bit. When did you sneak in? A couple minutes ago. I didn't want to bother you. Who's winning? Well, who do you think? <laughs> How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen. Jack is having a party tonight. I heard that. A few people. Now to me that sounds much better. It sounds real, and I can understand pretty much all of the dialogue. But there are a couple of words that still bother me a little bit. So let's go listen again to one small section of it. How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen. Jack is having a party tonight. What bothered me was that we heard the basketball bouncing right on the words Play and party. How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen, Jack is having a party tonight. And those basketball bouncing sounds interfere with the actor's speech. So let's remove the basketball bouncing sounds that appear right under those words. How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen, Jack is having a party tonight. Now that sounds pretty clear. Let's listen again, just to make sure. How'd rehearsal go? Play's gonna suck. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Hey, listen, Jack is having a party tonight. Now that's good. That works for me. The scene sounds real. We can hear the kid practicing basketball in the background, and we can understand every word that the actors are saying. That's what I mean by clarity. Now I'd like to go a step further and talk to Rich D'Elia of Chase Wilson. That was an excerpt from his video, Stoned Cold 2. Hi Rich, thank you for making time for this. Bill, uh, thanks for having me. Your company, Chase Wilson, has produced several successful films and videos for young audiences, and each one is very different from the others. But sound has been important in all of them. Can you talk a little about that? Sound is all around us in real life. It's as important as what we see. The key to any uh, shot or sequence of shots or scenes is to understand the, the whole of that scene. And that whole of that scene 
is the picture and the sound. Sometimes you can tell a story clearly with just visuals. Sometimes it needs visuals and sound. On your productions, you and I plan the sound before you start shooting. Why is that? Before you go in and you shoot a scene, as director, I have to think about, as I said before, the whole. What's the relationship between the characters? What's the relationship from the scene before? And you need to think about not only of the framing of the picture, but also the framing of the sound, if you will, and in the relationship of that picture. Right. We discuss the kinds of sounds and sometimes music that will be needed. We go over the script before I even shoot anything. And we go over little things and, and realistic things on where the sound needs to go or not go, depending upon the, either the critical nature of the dialogue right. or the arc of the plot. What I sometimes see in feature films are scenes that go by and leave you wondering, what did that actor say? Usually it's because an actor said something very quietly or because a sound effect like a gunshot occurred at the same time a word was spoken. That happens too many times, actually, in, in productions. Right. You don't want the sound to fight the dialogue. You can't have something that's, that's a large sound when it's a critical moment in the scene, just as you said, uh, where a specific line needs to be heard that's critical to either the plot or, or the educational nature of what you're doing or the, just the message that you're doing. For the scene that you just showed, the basketball is bouncing. That basketball could get in the way of a lot of dialogue, but it's important to know that the kid who's playing basketball is, is still there. So what can our audience take away from this discussion? There are times when people go to direct, they're thinking realistic in just the visuals. They don't go in ahead of time and think realistic and plan in a realistic way of sound. It's really taking... Uh, sound and using it in a way that, that helps create uh, the real-life situation uh, that you're presenting on film. Sound is as important as what we see. Thank you, Rich. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching.